stay black in America, don't leave, don't go anywhere, greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman, and what that got to do with the lady I'm talking about, Kelly Clarkson? Not a thing. This white girl, can, this white young woman can ball. She's uh, brought excitement to the WNBA. I mean, I, I've never been a fan of women's basketball in general at all. Just never incited me, never, never pushed a button in me, but... I saw her in college, her and Angel Reed, and that little, that little thing that went about, that little, um, that little communicational or spat thing they had or competitive thing they had. It just made it so much more interesting to me. Then to watch them play and the dedication made me a fan of them being college uh, basketball players and then the, them being drafted into the, the pros. Uh, man, Ms. Clarkston is a, she's a, it brings excitement. We'll, we'll give you an example. Here in Washington, D.C., the, um, the women's basketball team played played against the Fever yesterday. Now, I just looked at their statistics because, like I say, I, I'm not a, not a fan. Haven't been to a game yet. They averaged 4,062 fans. They sold over 20,000 seats for her coming and playing against their home team. <laughs> that tells you right there alone the excitement she brings to the lead, her discipline her self-control and practicing and being able to take all those 300 to 400 shots a day and just moving around the energy she's expending playing excitement is bringing to women to women's sports i mean not not, not just women's sports in general but focusing on basketball i mean it's a uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a wonderful thing man because uh the WNBA really cannot support themselves uh, they, they they've uh can't make the money to support themselves, even the salaries they're doing. The NBA has to fund them with money. It was somebody like uh, Ms. Cloxton coming to the lead and, and Angel Reed coming to the lead. It's uh, bringing more, it's bringing a spark, man. It's like taking a booster shot when you've been sick. It's like, uh, I don't know, man. It's like getting a great steak and baked potato meal when you haven't had one in like uh, two years. I mean, it's like uh, fresh seafood, man from a Cajun restaurant that you've never experienced before. I mean, man, it's just, a, it's just an exciting kind of thing for me to see. I still haven't, haven't went to a game yet, still haven't seen the women in person yet, still haven't done anything. But just to, just to sheer expertise that Ms. Clark has brought to the game is just, a, man, it's just, it's just exciting. It's just exciting all, all the way around. I, I think that, and Angel Reed, what she brings to the game is that she has a lot of skill, you know. She has skill too down below, and and, and I, when I say skill, I mean that she's a feminine woman. She looks very sexy, very attractive, very you know all those kind of things. Six foot three, you know. You see her in, in her gowns, beautiful shape, and you, you wouldn't think she ever touched a basketball in her life. But when she gets in the game, her determination, her skill underneath, her pivot moves, her putting the ball off the glass. Well, she's a ball player, like like Big George Foreman said one day. If you, if you come to church and hear me preach, you'll know I'm a preacher. If you get in the ring with me and you hit one of my body shots, you'll know I'm a boxer. Same thing with Miss Clarkson and, and, and Miss Reed. But uh, Miss Clarkson is taken to another level because whenever you can go inside and battle and kick it out, and you got somebody that's, that's almost like automatic. I guess she shoots 60, 70 percent from the field. She's like automatic, man. So. Get somebody out there who can put the ball in the hole. Man, you're talking about bringing it to a whole nother level. And it's just uh, looking forward, man, to seeing um, her continual development, uh, her continual getting better and better. And these players in the league, man, who are um, facing, you know, who a typical athletes, whether females or males, never think about the big picture. The big picture is that she's bringing more fans to the NBA game, not the NBA, to the WNBA game. She's bringing more excitement. She's gonna bring more money, more endorsements, more everything to the lead. So all those players who have been, you know, grunting out and hanging in there and showing their expert skills amongst the world has been great. With the Olympics or the United States sports, uh, WNBA, she's gonna bring the money there. Like they were talking about Mayweather with the Willy Wonka card. Uh, Miss Clarkson is the Willy Wonka card. Everybody wants to see her. She brings excitement and joy to the game. And, and, and her being a white female brings even more excitement because people love seeing their own. I mean, it's just crazy. When you have a, I mean, if I had a son, I sure want him to look like me. 
I wouldn't want him to look like Magic Johnson. I wouldn't want him to look like Ron James. I want him to look like me. So if you got somebody that looks like you out there, balling, and struggling, and crushing, and going through all this adversity, you cheer for him even more, and you want to see him. In every, you want to see him more because it brings joy in, you, brings joy in your life. So I'm looking forward to more excitement from her. I'm looking forward to Sports Illustrated uh, paper, more articles about it in the paper, more articles about it in the magazines, internet, everywhere because she's that lightning rod that they needed all this time. The lightning rod she needed, they needed all this time. It's going to bring that interest. I think even right now, the most interest, they say that even there's more, I think, older guys like me, they say, watching WNBA sports than there are actual females. I think she's going to bring the female people into it. Big time females spend a lot of money in clothes and advertising and everything else. So I think they're going to come and start spending money, get enjoyment out of that. I think, um, you know, if any of those women are as beautiful as uh, uh, Angel Reed, man, maybe they, need to, they maybe need to show it. Maybe they need to have a, the, the WNBA need to have a swimsuit audition for each team they present. The women who are not afraid to show their bodies. The women who, I guess, who, you know, look feminine or are feminine and look very sexy that you can't tell them when they're playing on the sports. They need to have something, man. To bring excitement, more money, more this and that, have have more designers into them coming into the games when they're wearing their clothes, have designer clothes on wear or makeup, designer makeup. And by the way, you're a woman, whether you, um, uh, you know, whatever your sexual orientation is, you're still a woman. Whether you women on women, a woman like a man, whatever the case is, a woman is a woman, and and to me, a beautiful woman is almost like a work of art. A beautiful work of art to a real man like me. So, be as beautiful as you can, be as feminine as you can, be as athletic as you can, be as great as you can possibly be. Expand all the areas of your life, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you carry yourself, everything you do. Because for the WNBA, this is your shot to profitability, to higher salaries, to everything. So I wouldn't try to put, I would be very competitive as always, but I wouldn't I wouldn't try to hurt Caitlin. I wouldn't try to hurt Angel Reed. I would just be as competitive as I always have been in the league. And thank God that this shot in the arm, this adrenaline rush has come into the league in this Caitlin Clark. Because man, she's a, quite a ball player, quite an athlete, and uh, geez, don't know her as a person, but quite a shooter quite a ball player, quite an athlete. So everybody's uh, out there hating on her or whoever's hating on her, you are just ignorant, <laughs> you know, because she's bringing excitement where to me there was no excitement. Now there is. So like, share, subscribe to my channel. Stay black in America, baby.